Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration. And this collaboration is called My Fairy Garden Summer 2019. And this challenge is being hosted by This and That with Denise Jordan. I will leave a link down below in the description box to Denise's channel if you haven't seen it already. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this challenge. I anticipate it's going to be lots of fun. I enjoy doing fairy gardens. I do them annually. They're lots of fun. And it kind of allows me to be creative on a miniature scale. And I like that. Now the details to this collaboration is pretty much we get to create as will. She only asks that you she only asks that you include a fairy in your fairy garden. So let me show you what I did. But before I do, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure you come back and join in. Now, let me show you what I did with my fairy garden. I had originally planned to use this container, but I found it to be difficult to have get access to uh, on the inside, and I needed more space. So I've already got another idea for this fairy garden terrarium. So I cut down this Amazon box, and I'm going to use it instead. So I'm going to cut the flaps. I got this moss from Michaels. Everything that I'll be using today either came from Joanne Crafts, Michaels, or the majority of it came from the Dollar Tree. So you're going to see a lot of the things that you're going to see a lot of things that look familiar. <laughs> wow, it's bigger than I thought, but it's not as dense. But I guess that's okay. I didn't want it all grass. So some of this I'm gonna have to get rid of. Cause I want it part grass and I want it part um, mulch. this down to floral foam. I just added a bead of hot glue here and here. I got, well all the houses, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, the houses I got from the Dollar Tree and this picket fence I got from Michael's.
another tree and this tree came from Then I just got to get my fence to stand up. I got my fairy. You know, I just need some rocks. And, that, and I'm hoping that the rocks will help to anchor the little picket fence because I can't seem to get the darn thing to stand up. The fairy in the mushroom, the, the large mushroom house, i that's something I already had. I don't remember where I got it from. I don't remember where I got it from. Um, but yeah, everything else here came from Michael's Dollar Tree and Joanne Crafts. And my terrarium glass was just too small. I decided I wanted more space. I wanted to create a large one. This is the largest this is the largest fairy garden I have created to date. Um, I've been collecting them uh, over the last couple years, so and I didn't use everything that I had. So uh, I like the way this turned out. I think it's very pretty. I even got little creatures. I've got a raccoon and a, I'm, I think that's a possum. I got a fox. <laughs> More than I've ever had before. And I really like the way that looks. My walkway made of rocks helps my fence to stand up. I put some rocks in the back and some rocks in the front and it sort of anchors it. Not anchors, it steadies it. I guess that's what I want to say. So I'm, I'm all done. I'm going to show you some photos of the garden. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed my fairy garden. I want to thank Denise of This and That with Denise Jordan for inviting me to participate in the My Fairy Garden Summer 2019 Challenge. I had lots of fun. As I said earlier, I enjoy doing fairy gardens. I do them annually. They're lots of fun and they allow creativity to flow. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you haven't already, leave me a comment. And I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate your support too. Welcome. Welcome to the Creative Glam Team. And with that being said, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.